Karanka Somali Nandaha Karanka Karanka Dulka Dadka Thank you very much Marka and Horta Handunian and Ad in Gumat Show in the Ornu Sotay Kalep Adia Dot Matin Martina Nogatimi Somaliland you delegate the scanner, so do I the begin all protocol observed. Your Excellencies, present honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, on Thursday, 18th May 2023, marked the 32nd anniversary of the restoration of the independence of our great nation the Republic of Somaliland. The yearly celebration of the 18th of May has become a genius and broadly held worldwide celebration. It's a highly valued and particularly important day for the national pride of all the peace-loving people of Somaliland and all the people around the world, young and old, at home and abroad. On the 18th of May is the day of celebration, the day of celebration, when Somaliland restored the, the once lost freedom and independence of our great nation, a sense of nationhood, and together, togetherness, solidarity and unity, national pride, patriotism, and citizens feeling among Somaliland citizens at home and abroad are the extraordinary features that associate with the celebration of the Memorial Day of 18 May of every year. This is a historical day where thousands and thousands of people perished for this occasion today we are celebrating. That was on Bahaulu who the Yunuf to the Kupihi Manta and the Badigan and Manta Kuru the Badigino, who Kukuimi, and Nafio Mal, the Kupihi. Tasan Manta with the Badigan, the Tikin, a Manta Anka, the Sogat Sea, for Hatta Manta. And to put the Baldigi in Magalan and Nairobi. The 18th May is, a, a, is an exceptional day to commemorate and honor all those people who died and who lost their lives, not only for defending the existence, dignity, and name of their own people, but also for the realization of the roots of foundation of our most cherished assets that we have today, the Republic of Somaliland. Here in Kenya, we the Somaliland people and the Kenyan people of Somali or Somaliland origin converge every year to mark this day. Somaliland and Kenya share a common history, having both been under the British colonial rule, but even beyond that, we share more in terms of culture thanks to the interaction of people from the two countries for over 150 years. Somaliland nationals settled in Kenya decades ago and have been engaged in economic and political growth of this country, Kenya. And we are very glad the support the Kenya people gave us during the, our struggle. There are a lot of hidden things that many people don't know that I can tell you we appreciate what the former president Daniel Arab Moy did for us. We used to have people, our people who used to fight in Ethiopia during the fight of liberation, we had a lot of victims who didn't have proper medical facilities in Ethiopia and we were given private facilities here in Kenya by the pre former president Daniel Aramoy secretly without uh, any other 
people knowing it. That was the most important thing that we got from the Republic of Kenya. Furthermore, the first president of Somaliland to ever visit a foreign country was Kenya, and he was invited officially by President Daniel Toretit Arab Moy, that's Mohammed Ibrahim Regal, 1994. We thank the Kenya government and the people for that gesture. Furthermore, the president of Kenya, Mr. Mwai Kibak, invited officially the second president of Somaliland to visit Kenya, Fiale Kahin, officially. And that was a big gesture. The third president who officially was invited by the Kenya president was very recently by President Uhuru Kenyatta who gave us an official reception. We thank the Kenya people for all those just as they have done to us. Thank you very much. Furthermore, Somali and Kenya have maintained positive, positive informal relations for years. Many Kenyans view Somaliland in favorable, favorable, favorable light and have found lucrative employment opportunities in the booming capital of Somaliland and Berbera, Hargeisa, Boro'o, Gabile, and all those. We have about 22,000, and this is officially from the foreign, uh, Kenya's foreign ministry statistic. We have 22,000 Kenyans working in Somaliland. When I went with uh, Peter Munya, the former Minister of uh, Agriculture, who was by then the governor of, of Meru, we met about 2,500 Kenyans in Hargeisa in a short notice, in a very short notice, 2,500. And we were told if we had extended our stay, we could actually have up to 10,000 Kenyans could have uh, uh, arrived in our reception. That was uh, 19, uh, 2017. Uh, that's why we have very favorable, uh, uh, very, uh, we have found local employment opportunities are booming, uh, uh, booming capital for this. I am very happy that the Kenyan government opened recently. This is another uh, uh, gesture we, we thank the government of Kenya. Recently they opened an official uh, consulate in Hargeisa by President and, uh, uh, William Ruto, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto. I'm very happy that the Kenyan government opened license office in Hargeisa this recently. This will help promote trade, foster greater ties between the two countries. As I close, I would like to join the rest of Somalilanders in the, uh, and asking the com international community to listen to the wishes of the Somaliland people and grant, grant the country international recognition we deserve to have. Thank you very much. May God bless Karanka! 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 Tatka! Dulka! Thank you very much.